everybody, it's Janet with Crafting It Up in Creations. Thanks for joining me today. I'm going to be creating three different DIYs here. I'm going to start by getting to show you what we're going to work with today. Definitely going to need some twine. And any kind of Easter eggs will do. Um, I have these that kind of look like crystal eggs. They're from the Dollar Tree. They come six in a pack. It's missing the pink one and maybe the purple one and some Easter grass, any color. And I've got several of those bunnies that I've painted. I got those originally at Dollar General. I painted this one with white and put that pearl mist over top of it and it just come out beautiful. And I have several of these, so you could use any of those or anything that you have on hand. Dollar Tree even has some that are ceramic that you can paint and I've done some of those as well. But these are a nice size, and I really like them. I've got several of them. I'm trying to use them up as I can while Easter's coming up. So here's what they look like originally. Kind of like the ones that the Dollar Tree had for Valentine's Day that said love, um, made out of that same type of material. And I just painted over them. But they're really pretty. And here's one that I actually painted with that um, speckled paint. So it kind of looks like it's 3D. I think these would look really good outside even by themselves in my little flower gardens. Now this is a plastic plate that the Dollar Tree has. It's similar to what I've used. I use the egg plate that they have. Um, but it's the same concept. And then I've got a floral round. I actually cut this down some when I go to use it. And these are wet to dry, but you can use them dry or you can use them wet either way. But they come in a pack of two. Dollar Tree has some that are just packs of one. And then I've got some wildflowers here. Um, I end up using the white ones, but the pink ones and the green wildflowers that they have right now that I just found recently, they are so pretty. So I almost use those. But I did white because I wanted to contrast some of it because I already had the colored Easter eggs. And this is what I ended up with. So I spray painted the egg tray with the pearl, the champagne pink um, spray paint. And I put grass down in the middle and I put it on top of the foam part. And then I glued the bunny down to that. Or actually put some more grass on it and then glued the bunny to the grass even. So you can't really see the grass through it. And then I've got the eggs laying, just laying on the egg container just as they are. Here's the spray paint that I used. It's the champagne pink. You can get that at Lowe's or Home Depot. So now I'm just going to wrap the eggs in twine just in the center where you would um, see the seam. And I wrap about four times around each egg. And it's kind of loose. It's not real tight or um, uniform or anything. It doesn't look uh, lined up particularly any, any sort of way. So I wrap it and then I'm going to cut it off. And then I'm going to hot glue that piece down. And then I'll end up just gluing the white little flower on top of that. So there it is all together. And these eggs really are pretty. I bought one pack and then I went back and I've ended up buying two more packs. And it actually took two packs for this DIY because you need just one extra egg. So I think I'm going to pull one off and then I decide I should just cut it. And then I'll glue that down to the egg. And I'll do all the rest of the eggs the same exact way. I'm going to glue, put a piece of um, hot glue down and then wrap the twine around it and place the flowers on it. And I think it's kind of just shabby chic looking. I really like that. So I'm going to show it to you up close. And 
then I'm going to carry on and do all the rest of them. And I kind of tried to go in uh, faster motion when I did these. So you wouldn't be bored to death watching me do them. And I just want to say again, thanks for joining me today. I hope you enjoy this. I'm sorry I'm off camera. I had planted flowers earlier this morning, and I decided I really wanted to do some um, Easter crafts because, of course, Easter's coming up this weekend, and I need to either get it done or get it put away here pretty soon. So I wanted to go ahead and finish these up. And if you like what you see, go ahead and hit me a thumbs up. That actually lets YouTube know what you're interested in, and it gives you more recommendations um, on your channel when, when you're searching for things. A lot of times I would search for card making things, and I'm still getting a lot of those notifications, but now that I'm doing Dollar Tree hauls and watching everyone's DIYs, I get a lot more of that. So they kind of stay in tune with what you hit that you like. finishing up these and each one of them I just cut the flower off and, and attach it to it. And right now my little crafting area is in the basement. Um, Jim's put some extra lighting up down there for me so it's actually lighter down there than it probably is upstairs. And I kind of hate it just for the fact that I feel like I'm so far away from everybody but and here's the finished product. I kind of spin it around. I just love that pink paint. It is so pretty. Of course, you can see there's two egg spaces that are empty because if you go every other one, there's just two that are open. So it turned out really cute. I really love that. And I love that Easter grass. All right, so for the second one, I'm going to do, I'm going to make like a little bird's nest. So I used one of the plates from the Dollar Tree. This is just that blue ceramic plate. It's really nice and it's pretty heavy. And then one of the grapevine wreaths. And I got the smaller one. The medium one may still fit on there as well, but I just did the smaller one. And it, I thought it fit pretty nice. And then they have those egg picks this year. These are purple and gold and then there's pink and gold and then there's green and gold and I think the um, larger ones are purple and gold but here are two of the smaller ones and they're the green and gold and purple and gold up close and then I use some of that brown raffia that you can use in gift bags. I kind of wanted it to look like a nest, so I decided to use the brown. I almost used green Easter grass, but I really wanted it to look like a bird's nest. So I end up uh, tearing into that, and I'll put some glue down in the bottom of the plate. And then I'll kind of just smush the brownish paper down into that to hold. And I want to build it up just kind of like a nest would be, but I don't want it to be too too thick. I like it to be a little sparse where you can see that blue plate underneath. And I kind of fuss with it a little. And I used the Gorilla Glue Sticks from Walmart. Um, the glue gun I happen to have right now is just a bigger one. I've kind of uh, used a lot of it lately, so the smaller ones I was really having a hard time keeping up with um, putting them in the glue stick holder, so ended up getting a little bit bigger gun. And there I pulled the pick right out of the egg, and they come out really easy. And I keep those picks because you never know what else you could use them for. And I kind of just lay all three of them down, get them where I want them, and then I'll pick those up individually and kind of glue them down just so they won't roll around in the raffia. But I really love these gold, you know, toned eggs. I think they're really pretty. I've used them for quite a few things this year.
And so here's where I get the idea that maybe I should go look for my hummingbirds and little birds that I've bought because Dollar Tree has really come out with a lot of those little birds here lately. And a lot of them have the little um, alligator clips on them, you know, where they can easily clip onto things. They have butterflies. There, there's just so many to choose from and I, every time I walk into a Dollar Tree I almost see something just a little bit different so I'm showing you I did have one from Dollar General I end up using that little red bird but I've got the hummingbird and the butterfly there too as well so I end up again using that little red bird I look at it and I think yeah and I kind of was um, thinking about this because I wasn't sure if I wanted to use him or not because he is kind of small compared to the eggs. There's this little alligator clip. But then once I attached him to the grapevine wreath and everything and, and the way he just sits there, I think he just looks really super cute doing that. And, you know, if you get these at Joann's or Michael's, they're usually at least $2.99 a piece. I know I did get a hummingbird from them, and then I saw, um, finally saw some hummingbirds in a Dollar Tree one day, and I was like, ah, fantastic. So it looks pretty cute just sitting there. So I'm thinking, ah, we gotta have a butterfly. So these are butterflies. They're actually on a wire, and at the very tip of them, there is a spring on them and so he kind of moves around and looks like his wings are shaking. Now you do have to use wire cutters to cut the wire and I, of course I keep that wire and I'm gonna actually throw it into a package with the hummingbird here in just a second um, just because it's really easy to mold I guess you could say um, or bend and so I think I'll just keep it with him so that if I want to use it, because what he comes with is some really thin wire in the back, and it actually comes out of their belly really easy. So you almost always have to reinforce those. So I kind of spread the wings out. They come all together like that, and if you kind of fold them out, they'll kind of look like they're floating. And of course, with that little small spring on there, they move. So it's kind of neat. So I'm going to put a little dollop of glue right on the edge of the stick and then I'm going to stick it down into the wreath form. And I kind of hold it there for just a few seconds until it gets stuck. And then I ended up going ahead and reinforcing it with just a little more glue at the top and threw some raffia on top of that just to kind of cover that up because I put a lot of glue there. I want it to stay in place. So here's a look at it. Little cute butterfly. And I chose yellow just so that I had some different colors in there. All right. So and there's a final look at it. That came out pretty cute. I'm really pretty cute. With that. Now where to put it, I'm not sure. So and now I'm going to move on to my third DIY. I did a little makeup tray. I couldn't decide if I was going to do a makeup tray or a sticker tray to hold like all of my planner stickers. I have more stickers than I know what to do with, so this would just be for planners, but I thought maybe I would use this glass. I didn't end up using it, so, um, but I will use that for something else. I think I'm going to put it on one of the cake trays. But I did end up using this tray. It originally was clear. I spray painted that th with the pink. I used one of the napkin, well I actually used two of the napkin holders and two of the butter dish trays. Actually one of the butter dish trays because I ended up using these two little containers as well. They come for two for a dollar at the Dollar Tree and I spray painted those pink. Everything I did spray paint today was pink. And I'm not even a pink person. I'm more of a purple person, but I love this mauve pink. And I used some of this great burlap ribbon with the lace in the middle. So here's my spray painted butter dish and napkin holder. And this one I had already glued together. 
So that was the um, bottom. And then I flipped the cover upside down. So it's like a little nested area. And it'll actually set it up a little higher on the tray. And then I'm gonna actually end up adding feet to that. So there's the butter dish bottom by itself. I'm having one of those senior moments, I guess, because I can't remember. I'm positive that I only used one of the butter dishes, but yeah, I did. But that was even, would even be cute even by itself. I may even put like a little um, lid on that or a little, one of those little wooden lit, um, dowels on top to make it a lid. So these are salt and pepper shakers. And they're really pretty neat. I actually glued the top onto the bottom so it kind of sets up high. And I do end up using those at the end. I kind of toyed with them for a little while. I even thought maybe I'd put some twine on the top of them, but I end up just covering them with the their other ribbon. And I kind of play with it around with it for a while, trying to figure out maybe what I was gonna do. Um, I left a lot of that out of there. Of course, that doesn't touch all the way to the bottom. So what I'm gonna end up doing even on some of that is building it up just a little. So I decided to go with the two napkin holders together, then the butter tray, and then the two smaller containers. So I'm going to glue the other salt and pepper shaker together. Or one salt, one's pepper, who knows which one it is now, huh? You kind of got to hold that for just a second until that glue kind of sets. But I think it looks really nice when it's set on top of there. And then I'm gonna go around the edge of these containers. These are the little small craft containers and they're in the craft section usually. And they're meant to hold beads, but I'm using them as feet. And I must have cut out the footage where I showed the package of those, I apologize. But I'm gonna glue those to the underside of the butter dish. And then I'm going to glue two on the underside of one of the napkin holders as well, just to give one a little bit more height than the other. And I did try to keep it all the same color, so it's kind of neat in some ways. I wish I would have done maybe like a pink and a silver, but... I really like the pink with the um, burlap ribbon and everything too, it's really nice. And so now I'm gonna glue down the front containers, kinda hold them in place, and now I'm gonna glue down the other one. And I hold it for a good five to 10 seconds down onto the tray just to make sure that that glue set. And I kind of edited out a lot of that. So here's the ribbon. I end up opening that up. And I end up cutting off a piece of this because I decide I'm gonna wrap it around the back part of the one napkin holder and the front part of the other one. I didn't go in between them because I figured, you know, they were so close together it wouldn't matter. And it's really hard not to get glue on your fingers when you're holding that in place because it comes right up through that ribbon. So you just kind of got to let it set for a minute before you really push down on it. And then I'm going to do the front of the other one and wrap it around. And I really like this uh, ribbon. It does have a little bit of a wire in it. So it you know, kind of helps mold to that any project that you're doing anyway. And I kind of try to pull that, kind of taunt even, you know, so it's nice and tight on there. So now I'm gonna put some glue on those bottom feet and put that into place. 
And so as you can see, I don't really want to put glue right around those edges because I don't want that to show. So I decided to take some mounting tape and I just cut off four different strips of this and attach it to the bottom. And it's really sticky. Like this will hold up posters and pictures and different things. And so I just stick it right to the bottom of there, peel the backing off of it, stick another one onto it. And I actually built it up four deep. And then when I'm all done, I'll pull that backing off. And as you can see, it's pretty level now. That'll just give me some extra assurance that the glue will hold that down. And I went ahead and put hot glue on that so that it would hold really well. And then I put that down there and I'll kind of hold that for a second as well. Now my little feet to the butter dish. I'll put some glue on those and we'll kind of hold that in place just for a few seconds as well. And so I'm really pleased with it and I'm still kind of wanting to use those salt and pepper shakers and trying to think, you know, where else, could, what else could I do with them? I kind of put them in those front bins, but then I didn't want it to take up any room. And I'm thinking, well, I don't really have a whole lot of makeup. So I think that, well, maybe I'll kind of put them over off to the side. So I kind of toy with that and I think, yeah, I think that's what I'll do. Now, mind you, these are still need to be built up just a little bit. So I'll end up using the mounting tape on one side of those. And you'll see that here in a minute. I decide to go ahead and glue some of that real pretty ribbon on there. And they're graduated, so it can kind of makes it a little tricky. And it looks a little bit more loose at the bottom. But I think it kind of helps tie it in all together. With having the ribbon match, you know, what's on the napkin holder. So I really like that. And I found these Jolie's um, flowers at a Michael's. They were on clearance, and they were in like a bin. And so I end up just using the pinkish ones. And they actually have some adhesive on the back, but I actually put glue on it and then press them down in there. And I end up having to put a little bit of glue on each sides of the flower because it kind of sticks out to where you could see the white that's behind it. And I didn't really like that. So I ended up kind of gluing part of the flower onto the ribbon later. And I don't think I actually show that. But I do kind of hold that in place for a few minutes. And then again, I'll build up um, some sections of the mounting tape to the edge of that as well. And I'm getting ready to show that. But that kind of just kind of gives it all the same height. Um, and I didn't do anything spectacular. I just cut it in a half moon circle and then attached it with glue, um, put some hot glue on the bottom of it, and peeled off the backing of both of them. And I ended up having to, to do two different pieces. I think the first one I might have only did one and then realized I really needed two, so when I do the second one, I do it. And I'm so sorry I didn't realize I was giving you the finger. I was holding on to that piece of tape with that finger, I guess. So here I am gluing that. And after I put it down, I realized eh, I probably should have had one more little piece of tape on there. So now I'm gonna do the second one. And I do it exactly the same way, wrap that ribbon around it. Hold it in place for just a second until that glue sets. I'm going to cut off my extra. If 
like I say, I kind of want to get some of this Easter stuff done. I want to make whatever I'm going to make in the next day or so, and then just go ahead and start putting some of that stuff away. Because after the weekend, then I'll be putting all my decorations away. And I got quite a few different things from Dollar Tree this year that were really just cute. You know, all on their own. A lot of signs, um, different things. I've made several cloches with those ceramic bunnies and, and the ceramic eggs and just love them. So now it's time for some summer stuff. I've got the turtle that I got from Family Daughter Dollar. That was just like the um, the bunnies and the chicks and the or the bunnies, the ducks and the eggs that the Dollar Tree had. So I'm gonna try painting some of those and maybe make a cloche out of those. And I'll try to film that as well. Um, if you're interested in seeing that, put a comment down uh, below, and I'll try to make sure that I do that first, even. But I know a lot of different things that they had this year made decorating really easy and. I kind of got out of decorating for the holidays there for a little while and now I'm back into it and I don't know it just makes me happy so I'm gonna keep up with it so this is where I did put on the second piece of tape mounting tape and and I'm gonna apply it as well then I'm gonna show you the finished product I really love that pink I've probably about used up that can of paint, but I've painted several other things as well. I still have a butter dish that I haven't used. I have one of those cake pans that I've also spray painted, and then I still have that cup. And like I say, I think I'm gonna attach the cup to that cake pan, but I may do another one. So here's a view of my bunny, and with the eggs and the win window seal. And this is kind of what we call our sunroom area. And here's a picture of the nest with the eggs and it's on my shelf that Jim made me and then here is my makeup tray in my bathroom and I've already kind of put my makeup all in it so thanks so much for watching again give me a thumbs up um, hit subscribe if you haven't already. This is Janet with Crafting It Up in Creations. Thanks again for joining me, and I hope you have a fabulous crafty day.